Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can represent a graph by adjacency list. So in this uh, tutorial, we will study about representation of a graph by adjacency list. In adjacency list representation of a graph, a graph with n vertices is represented using an array of n lists. Ith list of this array contains all vertices which are adjacent to vertex i. Right. Now consider this undirected graph. Right. Now we have to represent this graph by adjacency list representation. Right. Since uh, this graph has only five vertices, so in adjacency list representation, this graph will be represented by an array of five lists. Right. Now, let uh, this graph is uh, represented by an array A. Right. So, size of array A will be 5. Right. Now, consider the uh, vertex 1 of this graph. Right. Vertices 2 and 5 are adjacent to vertex 1. So, A1. Right. That is first element of array A represents the link list of vertices adjacent to vertex 1. Right. So, this link list will contain the vertices 2 and 5. Now, see the vertex 2 of this graph. Vertices 3, 4, 5 and 1. Right. Are adjacent to vertex 2. Right. So, A2. That is second element of array A represents the linked list of vertices adjacent to vertex 2. And this linked list will contain the vertices 3, 4, 5 and 1. Right. Now see this vertex 3. Right. Vertices 2 and 4 are adjacent to vertex 3. Right. So A3. That is third element of array A represents the length list of vertices adjacent to vertex 3. Right. So this length list will contain the vertices 2 and 4. Right. Now see the vertex 4 of uh, this graph. Right. Vertices 2, 3 and 5 are adjacent to vertex 4. So A4 that is fourth element of array A represents the length list of vertices which are adjacent to vertex 4. Right. So this length list contains the vertices 2, 3 and 5. Right. Now see this uh, vertex uh, 5 of uh, this graph. Vertices 1, 2 and 4 are adjacent to vertex 5 in this graph. Right. So A5 that is fifth element of array A represents the length list of vertices which are adjacent to vertex 5. So this length list contains the vertices 1, 2 and 4. Right. So this was the adjacency list representation of an undirected graph. Now let us discuss the adjacency list representation of a directed graph. Right. So now we will see the adjacency list representation of this graph right we will see the adjacency list representation of this graph right this graph has four vertices so in adjacency list representation of uh, this graph we will use an array of four lists right so in adjacency list representation this graph will be represented by an array of four lists. Right. So let this graph is represented by array A. Right. So size of this array A will be four. Right. Now see vertex one of uh, this graph. Right. Vertex two is adjacent to vertex one. 
right so a1 that is first element of array a represents a linked list which contains the vertices which are adjacent to vertex 1 so this linked list will contain vertex 2 only because only vertex 2 is adjacent to vertex 1 now see this vertex 2 vertex 3 is adjacent to vertex 2 right so a2 that is second element of array a represent a linked list which contains the vertices which are adjacent to vertex 2 so this linked list contains only vertex 3 now see vertex 3 right vertex 4 is adjacent to vertex 3 so a3 that is third element of array a represents the linked list of uh, vertices which are adjacent to vertex 3 right so this linked list contains only vertex 4 because only vertex 4 is adjacent to vertex 3 now see the vertex now see this vertex 4 vertex 1 and 2 are adjacent to vertex 4 right in this graph vertex 1 and vertex 2 are adjacent to vertex 4 in so a4 that is uh, the fourth element of array a represents a linked list of vertices which are adjacent to vertex 4 right so this linked list contains the vertices 1 and 4 right so in this way we can represent a graph by adjacency list